Yo, what is up, sexy Samalander squad? As you have noticed, I switched up my bands a little and I banned Scotty because I just got my asshole obliterated by a Scotty who rushed Blackthorn and I figured, hey, YouTube probably wouldn't want to see that, so we're going to try again. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> first things first. Again, thank you so much for the support. I think we did another 250 sub day yesterday. I don't know, crazy, fucking insane. Um, and besides that, uh, what else did we do? I think uh, there was a couple comments that were like, hey, Sam, I want you to um, to put music in the background of your videos or edit them through the pick and band phase or something like that. And while I definitely do understand that, um, at the exact same time, I have tried that before. I've tried the editing um, and I've tried the, the very low, like chill step-esque music in the background. And people didn't really respond to it very well. So I'm, I'm just gonna stay away from it. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, my, my bad for those who do want it. I'm sorry, but I'm definitely not your man. I ain't your man. Okay, I think we got red buff. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Quite a good bounce there. Why would you aim that at me? <clears throat> Ow. Oh, okay, dude, that actually would have killed him, I think, if I got the bounce there. But I missed the bounce because I'm a fucking weeb. You know, one thing I actually just realized is that Pele was open this game. <laughs> How terrifying of a thought is that? Pele was actually open this game and nobody picked her. Thank goodness. I will end you. That was so clean, chat. Oh my god. That was so clean. Did anyone notice that play? So basically, I ulted first because my ult takes more mana. Uh, my all requires more mana than um, than my one, so I used my ultimate because it was more mana, and then I bracered for mana and stunned him inside my my alt. So so clean. That was a that was a well played kill, and I never compliment my own kills. Uh, should I just pick up this blue buff, or should I just like chill and wait? Um, I'm gonna wait. I have a mana pot anyway, so it's fine. Let's wait for red, see if we can get that back. I might have my alt up to fight again for it. Did he brace her, by the way, during that fight or not? I don't actually know. Oh, that was at me. Oh, <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oof. Had the alt up again, man. I had the alt up again. And that gives us red buff. Well, so far, so clean. Let's keep it going. 
I want to rush Aussie, by the way, because Argus is going to beat my Tukus. And the only thing that I can do to cancel that... Oops. Cancel that. Is, um... The lifesteal through him beating my ass. So, that's what the Aussie's for. Not to mention, it's just a really good item in general. He's doing... A sinful thing. Where did he go? Oh, he backed. Makes sense. Okay. I mean, he sat there clapping at me. I, I, I don't know if he meant like, dude, he's gonna surrender. There's no way he plays this out. There's zero chance that he's gonna keep playing for sure. Watch it. Three, two, one. Boom. <clears throat> Anyways, as I was saying, he's gonna play this game out because. Harris got a pretty strong late game and uh and he's feeling good about it. Well that is just terrible. Y'all ever use every ability in your kit and not do a single point of damage to the enemy? Or is that just me? I have Aussie, so like please please Argus me. This is why I got off our Aussie. Oh, he he didn't. He's not using it against me. Oh, I just fucking bonked Argus though. Oh damn it. Um, I could go Genji's, but instead I'm gonna go Shogun's because it's so annoying. Seeing the same items built every single game, I want to switch it up and see how it does. I don't need cooldown reduction. The health, I will admit, is pretty nice. Oh, it gives me cooldown reduction anyways. Shogun's does. So what are the differences? This has health and MP5. This has half the MP5 but CCR reduction. It gives me attack speed. Um, I mean, shit. I'm going to get it anyways, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Hello. Bonker. Bonker. I always do that. I'm always too close to the edge of the tower. Annoying. I still don't think he can kill me. Aussie is really, really strong now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see, uh, you see what I mean? Aussie's pretty strong. <laughs> Use that passive, boy. 50% lifesteal. Hell yeah. Can we get the tower here? I mean, look, if I'm being completely honest, I, I really, I don't understand that play. Like, I, I understand that he was trying to stop me from taking his tower. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand that part. But, like, once he recognizes that I will take the tower in one auto, you should run away. Because, like, I, let's, I land that auto and then you die for free. 
Like you're you're definitely not gonna win that fight. I do respect the the uh, attempt to slow me down though on the tower. It was it wasn't even an attempt. It was a success. He did slow me down from taking the tower, but um. Okay, so I think that the fact that you can move at literal full speed with Hoi's ult is actually really busted. I was talking to my girlfriend before um, before this game, and she was like, do you think it's going to matter that you can move in ulting? And I was like, no, why would that matter? Uh, it mattered. Yeah, like that's that was crazy. Like, I can stun him and alt him while still closing the distance so I can get a lot of extra autos off. Instead of relying purely- what the fuck? Purely on the slow. Um, I can rely on my movement speed even more. So it actually is kind of a big deal, and something that I had not previously anticipated. Well, as annoying as this is, it doesn't make a difference. It's just annoying. Actually healed during that fight because I'll see proc to right when I fought him. Did a swift 1.5k damage. Let's get the red buff. Actually, let's not get the red buff. Let's back and then we'll get the red buff on the way back. Um, I want to increase my movement speed more. I don't really need pen. Obviously, so I'm gonna skip out on the executioner and instead I'm gonna go for the Atalanta's bow because that shit gives you 15% uh, movement speed or 25% movement speed When it's all the way stacked not to mention the attack speed is crazy, so I mean he literally can't run for me unless I miss all my autos <laughs> running away taunting I have 515 movement speed when this is stacked and 470 when it's not yeah that extra 45 movement speed is crazy strong my goodness I'm just gonna auto these I'm not gonna use my one I want the life steal for the next fight Boys, thank you, Aegis. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. I'm, I don't want to hit these yet. I want my Aussie proc. They almost got me. I actually would have won the game if I hit those minions, by the way, so that was super dumb. Oh, thank you, Argus. For healing me so much <laughs> and boys you see the reason I bought the Aussie just like that I heal 50% of my health I want him to stand in front of the thank you all right <clears throat> well that was a complete and utter stomp uh, Aussie's OP and I really like that movement speed build, to be completely honest with you. And I was chunking, man. If I got XE online, oh my goodness, that shit would chunk even harder. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.